think your little one is suffering from allergies? Allergies are the reaction of your baby's body to a substance if used as a harmful intruder. For example, coming in contact with what is normally a harmless substance such as pollen might cause your baby's immune system or your baby's body defense system to react. Substances that cause these reactions are labeled as allergens. In this video, we will be talking about the top 4 common allergies in babies and what are the things you should look out for and the things parents can do to avoid them. If you're new to our channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get real-time updates about new informative baby videos. Do give this video a thumbs up, share this with a friend or others who need to hear this, and leave a comment to let us know what you think. The material in this video is provided solely for educational reasons and is not intended to be taken as medical advice. In your baby's first year, it is not common for them to have allergies. However, that said, allergy symptoms can begin at any age. Here is our gathered list of the common causes of allergies in babies. Seasonal Allergies If your baby is experiencing signs of hay fever, itchy and runny nose, watery eyes, sneezing, could he possibly have seasonal allergies? Seasonal allergies or hay fever are the type of allergy that are actually very rare in babies, and they aren't typically seen until children are 2 or 3 years old at the earliest. However, there are still cases of continued and overexposure to allergens, making babies sick. Skin Allergies don't just cause children to sneeze and wheeze. They can also show up on your child's skin. A reaction may come in one of several forms. In addition, doctors aren't totally sure what causes these skin allergies. In infants, eczema or atopic dermatitis the most common one, shows up as a rash on the face or head. Later, it may spread to the arms and torso. The skin is often dry, itchy, and easily irritated. The itch-scratch cycle of babies is a very hard way to break, but it is the key. If you want to keep your baby's skin healthy, moist, and clean, try these tips out. Dry up your baby's drool. For babies, drools can be a constant cause of skin irritation. Always be gentle. Use mild cleansers and soaps. Harsh soaps can easily dry your baby's skin and can break down the skin's protective barrier. Make sure your baby's nails are cut short. Babies and most kids, and adults too, can't fight the urge to scratch if your skin starts to itch. Bathe. Use lukewarm, not hot water and avoid bubble baths. Also, keep their baths short, at least 3 to 5 minutes, as lengthy bathing can dry their skin easily. Make sure you moisturize your baby after bath, then use an ointment or cream and don't be afraid to slather it on often. Parents, did you know? Ointments are more effective than creams, and creams are more effective than lotion. Lotion tends to be watery, oily ointments stick better and are better moisturizers. Be sure to use soft cotton fabrics for your baby's clothes. Rough clothes can make them itch, which will make them eventually scratch. Look for and treat an infection. If you notice skin infection symptoms like pus, or very red, sore, raised, hot, or crusty skin, don't hesitate to talk with your baby's doctor. Your doctor may prescribe a topical steroid cream for your baby's skin. Make sure to also ask your doctor when and how to safely use it. Nasal Allergies Allergic reactions occur when the baby is exposed to certain allergens like dust and pollen. Despite being harmless, 
the body's immune system finds them dangerous and will signal the release of an antibody called immunoglobulin E, or IgE, to fight off the allergen. This IgE then also stimulates mast cells to release histamines. Histamines inflame nasal tissues, thus, the symptoms occur. Most allergens float in the air. That's how they get in the nose. Here are the common ones. Pollens Pets Pet fur or pet hair House dust Continued exposure to these only increases the chances of severe allergic reaction, so moms and dads, better to let your babies stay away from these allergens. Food A food allergy is an abnormal response of the baby's body to a certain food. Around 90% of all food allergies in babies are usually caused by the following foods. Milk Eggs, wheat, soy, tree nuts, peanuts, fish, shellfish. There's no cure for food allergies as of the moment. The best cure for it is to stay away or avoid those foods. Visit also your baby's doctor and find foods to which your baby is allergic. It is very important to avoid these foods and other similar foods in that food group. If you're also a breastfeeding mom, it is vital to avoid foods in your diet to which your baby is allergic. Small amounts of these food allergens may be transmitted to your baby through your breast milk and cause some reactions. Allergy Symptoms in Babies Though every baby is different from the other, these symptoms are often the most reported ones. A baby with allergies may have any or all of the following symptoms. Dark under eye circles. Itchiness that causes her to rub her nose and or eyes. Watery, red or puffy eyes. Frequent mouth breathing. Sneezing. A hacking, dry cough that produces clear mucus. Wheezing. Irritability restlessness or excessive fatigue. Your baby may also complain about an itchy, runny or stuffy nose, itchy eyes, skin, throat or roof of the mouth, trouble sleeping, shortness of breath or tightness in the chest to which you should get a professional opinion right away if your child tells you this to rule out more serious cases. Headache Itchy ear canals Because there are also different types of allergies your baby might undergo, the symptoms also vary. Mommy question time! How can I tell if my baby is experiencing seasonal or nasal allergies from the common cold? Parents, remember these. Symptoms happen during pollen season had the same symptoms during the same month last year. Hay fever symptoms last 6 to 8 weeks for each pollen. Colds last 1 to 3 weeks. Allergies, itchy eyes and nose, not seen with colds. Colds, fever and or sore throat, not seen with allergies. Both runny nose and watery eyes, can also have a cuff with both, but less common with allergies. Diagnosing Allergies in Babies and Toddlers Keep an eye on a little one's symptoms, what they are and when they happen, to help the doctor figure out what kind of allergy your child has and how to treat it. You may need to take them to an allergist. The doctors will ask about symptoms personal and family health history. Be sure to tell them everything you remember and when symptoms happen, like after meals and during specific seasons. Treatments for your baby's allergies Treatments for allergies in babies always depends on the type of allergy they are experiencing. However, 
Your baby's doctors may recommend the following for general treatment and prevention. Limiting exposure to allergens. Immunotherapy or allergy shots. Medications like antihistamines and decongestants. You may also use inhalers, especially when your baby is having trouble breathing. Also, visiting your pediatrician or allergist is very helpful since your doctors know the proper medications and preventive measures to discuss with you. Baby or childhood allergies are now rising, and many young sufferers have no family history of some causes on the list. Some experts think our super clean, ultra hygienic, and paranoid kind of lifestyle plays a big role. If we let our babies and children live in an almost germ free environment, the theory goes their immune system will pick fights with other invaders. If you think this video helped you persuade to read to your baby, please like and subscribe to our channel as we will be giving you more informative and exciting videos very soon. So see you in the next one.